Clifford is funded in part by a ready-to-learn television cooperative agreement from the U.S. Department of Education through the Public Broadcasting Service. Kix welcomes you to another healthy serving of good things to grow on. Clifford on PBS, where the fun of learning is kid-tested, mother-approved. Why are these kids laughing? Why not? Fun and the joy of learning are essential to growing up. And we're proud to play our part at Chuck E. Cheese's by supporting children's public television, where a kid can be a kid. And by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and from viewers like you. Hi, my name is Emily Elizabeth, and this is Clifford, my big red dog. Clifford needed a money, so she chose him for her own. And her love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone could know. He's the greatest dog ever. I really think so. Clifford's so loyal. He's there when you call. I love Clifford, the big red dog. So they packed up a family car And the Howards left the city They moved to Bird while I lived at their many new friends They're to greet Clifford and Emily Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all I love Clifford, the big red dog <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> hey, Emily, let's stop for a second. I'm thirsty. Okay, Charlie. Clifford, let's stop for some water. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's good. There you go, Clifford. Look at that bush, Emily. It looks like a rhinoceros. And that one looks kind of like a rabbit. There's a bird. <laughs> Those trees make Clifford look like Cleo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Look at that sign. No, Clifford. Mm -hmm. See that sign? It means no one's supposed to go in there. Oh, oh. I'm not sure why, boy. But that's the rule. Oh, oh. Emily, let's skateboard to town and get some ice cream. Sounds good to me. <gasps> Whoa! Slow down, Clifford. <laughs> this is great. Where are we going, big guy? I want to show you these funny bushes Emily, Elizabeth, and Charlie found. See that one over there? <laughs> it's a rhinoceros! That one looks like a rabbit. Clifford. Where do you see this? I'm Cleo. <laughs> Have I ever stared you wrong? <laughs> That's great, Clifford. Now watch me. Ha, 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 ha. 
Oh, let me do one. Whoa! <laughs> You're a tumbleweed, T. Yeah! I'm tumbleweed! <laughs> Wait, I just remembered. We're not supposed to be in here. We're not? No, that sign means we're supposed to stay out. There's a human on that sign. That just means that humans can't come in. It doesn't say anything about dogs. I don't know. I don't think anyone is supposed to be in here. Hey, <laughs> come on. Have I ever steered you wrong? <laughs> well, as a matter of fact... Never mind. It is pretty fun in here. So let's play tag. Not it. Not it. Can't catch me! <laughs> okay, ready or not, here I come! <laughs> that was a great place to play! It sure was! I can't believe we've never been there before! You guys smell something kind of funny? Yeah. Ugh, I think it's T-Bone. Hey! I think it's you! I think it's me! Maybe there was something in the field that made us all stinky. Ah, well. It's not so bad. Whoa! Phew! Those dogs really stink. smell like you've been rolling in stinkweed or something. I think you all better go home and get a bath. Go on. Stinkweed? Of course! There was stinkweed in that field. Woo! We really do need baths. I can't go home and get a bath. Emily Elizabeth will know I went in after she told me not to. I don't want a bath either. Mr. Kibble will just make me smell all fruitified. Too bad we can't just get rid of this smell ourselves. That's a great idea, T-Bone. It is? Sure. If we get rid of the smell ourselves, Emily Elizabeth won't have to know I went into the field. I won't have to go to the groomers. <gasps> and I know just how to do it. Follow me. <laughs> okay, guys. Time for a bath. But you hate baths, Cleo. I hate water baths. We're going to take a sand bath. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's go see. Oh, 
Clifford. You need a bath. Well, I don't think we're going to get rid of the smell by ourselves, guys. We better just go home. Yeah, it's bath time for everyone. I guess we should have stayed out of that field after all. Hey, look at all the people. <laughs> Here comes Emily Elizabeth. Hey, Clifford. I heard you guys got into some stinkweed today. <laughs> yes, I can smell it, too. Mm, mm, mm. That sign in the field meant that no one was supposed to go in there, Clifford. And now we know why. Everyone else knows why, too. And they all want to make sure that you guys get a really good bath. Okay, everyone, time to rinse. There's my T-bone. Smells so nice now. That's my good little girl. Oh, everyone makes mistakes, boy. But I bet next time you'll remember to follow the rules. Right, Clifford? Whoa. decided he was going to paint a picture. So he got an easel, canvas, and paintbrushes, just like a real artist. Speckle was already hard at work when his friends gathered around him to watch. Luna admired his blue cloud-filled sky. Rabby thought the flowers were so pretty that you could almost smell them. And Reba and Darnell said they couldn't have made a better tree themselves. Everyone said the painting was wonderful, but Speckle thought there was something missing. And he knew just what it was. Quickly, he painted Reba, Ravi, Darnell, Luna, and himself into his picture. And all his friends agreed that now it truly was a perfect painting. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> He's wonderful, Mr. Bleakman. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Charlie. I got it. It's all yours, Clifford. It's going over the fence, Emily. Mr. Bleakman. Whoop, whoop. Clifford. Oh, no! <laughs> Mr. Bleakman found our ball. Uh, thank you, Mr. Bleakman. 
Emily Elizabeth, would you and Charlie please take your ball and your king-sized canine and go find something nice and quiet to do so I can finish planting my potatoes? Oh, oh, oh. Yes, Mr. Bleakman. We're sorry. Yeah, we'll be really quiet now. Thank you. Come on, Clifford. Let's go. Well, this game is quiet and dull. Yeah, I'd rather be playing ball. Mr. Bleakman sure can get grumpy sometimes. That's for sure. Sometimes I wish he wasn't our neighbor. Hey! Where are you going, Clifford? What? Is that Mr. Bleakman? It sure is. I took this picture last summer. Clifford had just gotten a new inner tube to play with. There you go, Clifford. It's all yours. <laughs> Okay, boy, just lie down, and I'll help you get it off. What's all the commotion over there? Clifford got his new inner tube stuck on his nose. Oh, the poor puppy. Puppy? Horace, you've got to help him. I know. I'll see what I can do, Violet. Oh, don't worry, Clifford. Mr. Bleakman will help. Now, let me get a better look. <laughs> Maybe if I just let a little air out of it. Be careful, Horace! You did it, Horace! Thank you, Mr. Bleakman! Oh, it was nothing, really. Yes, it was. I'm gonna get my camera and take a picture. You're a real hero, dear. Okay, you two. Smile! I guess Mr. Bleakman isn't always grumpy. I guess not. Hey, I even remember once when he was kind of fun. You do? Sure. Remember when I got a pogo stick for my birthday? I just couldn't figure out how to make it work. Dad says you just put one foot on... Then the other, then... Whoa! <laughs> Let me try, Charlie. Go ahead. <laughs> Here I go! All right, Emily. <laughs> That wasn't bad, Emily Elizabeth. Thanks. But the real trick to staying on a pogo stick is balance. Do you know how to do it, Mrs. Bleakman? Oh, heavens no. But Horace here used to be a real champion. He did? He did? Will you show us how to do it, Mr. Bleakman? Please? We could really use some help. You see, you need a real firm grip. <laughs> I still got 
it, Violet? Wow! He's really good. He was voted best pogo sticker at our grammar school three years in a row. It's really not that hard, once you find the proper balance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how do you do it? Please, let me try, let me try. Oh, show me, I want to know. <laughs> we sure had a great time. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Not like today, when we have to play checkers instead of ball. I had fun playing checkers with Mr. Bleakman once. You did? Mm-hmm, when I had the chicken pox. I felt fine, but I didn't have anything to do. Oh, this is awful. I can't go to school. I can't play with my friends. I can't even go outside and play with Clifford. I am so bored. Hello, Emily Elizabeth. I was just in the mood for a nice game of checkers. Would you care to join me? I'd love to. But I have the chicken pox. I don't want you to get sick, too. Oh, don't worry about that. I had those spots a long time ago. I can't get them again. So, let's play? Great. Can I be red? Black goes first, you know. I know, but red is my favorite color. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> red it is, then. Mr. Bleakman really did that? Mm-hmm. You know, he might be kind of grumpy sometimes. But most of the time, Mr. Bleakman is a really good neighbor. Remember the time he spent the day with Clifford? They had lots of adventures together. Hey, my hat! My paints! My masterpiece! Clifford, help! Oh, Clifford, move! Clifford, you saved my painting. Uh oh, Clifford! the most fun I've had in years. <laughs> they came home the best of friends. Yeah, I guess you can't blame them for being upset about us messing up his garden this morning. Why don't we go over and see if we can make it up to him, Charlie? That sounds like a good idea. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Phew. Now that's a perfect garden. Whoa. Oh, no. Hello, Mr. Bleakman. We just want to apologize again for bothering you this morning. Well, thank you, Emily Elizabeth. Is there anything we can do to help you with your garden? Well, now that you mention it, there is one thing. What? You can come back in about three months and share a batch of homegrown potatoes with me. Wow, that sounds great. We'll be here. Okay, Clifford. You can come, too. friends love to play games, and everyone likes to be the star. But sometimes it's better to work together than to try and win the game alone. I got it! 
Uh, guys, I think we're doing something wrong here. Maybe we should try working together. Good idea, Clifford. It's worth a try. Okay, then. Let's do it. together as a team makes playing more fun for everyone. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is work together. <laughs> this is Tilly, and Tilly is a visual artist. I'm Tilly's assistant, and I help her by preparing the materials. She digs on the top of the paper and uses her teeth to make marks. For Tilly, making art is sort of the perfect job. She gets to dig, which all terriers love digging, and she gets to do it in a constructive way where she makes something out of it. Like all great art, it's a mystery. Clifford says be the best red dog on your block. Visit your local library to discover all kinds of books, both big and small. Dig up more fun with Clifford and his friends at pbskids.org or America Online keyword PBS Kids. It's fun to dance and move to the beat, so come on and dance with Clifford and his friends. Take a little stroll, do a little roll, and dance. Everybody dance, jump up and down, swing all around, and dance. Everybody dance. Come on and dance with Clifford the Big Red Dog, only on PBS Kids. Ready to Learn Television Cooperative Agreement from the U.S. Department of Education through the Public Broadcasting Service. Kix thanks you for joining us for another healthy serving of good things to grow on. Clifford on PBS, where the fun of learning is kid-tested, mother-approved. <laughs> Why are these kids laughing? Why not? Fun and the joy of learning are essential to growing up. And we're proud to play our part at Chuck E. Cheese's by supporting children's public television, where a kid can be a kid. And by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and from viewers like you. Blah, 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 blah. Like PBS Kids!